then that will be followed by a sentence or something like a sentence that qualifies it. Like if you have Alladi, the one who, Alladina, those who, Allati, the one who feminine, Allati, Wallahi, those who feminine, Uma, Uman, any of those words that mean that which those who, etc. It must be followed by a sentence, it comes after it, it qualifies it. Then we came to this here. And we said, well, we're going to break away from that structure of learning things and we're going to order our lessons on Naho according to the different hands. We're going to look at the Raf and all of the things that get covered by Raf. Then Nas and then Jar and then those that don't have a hand of their own, but they just follow the hand of another word. In Naraf, we started off with, we said there were six things over there that were Naibu al Fa'il, Mubtada, Khabar, Ismukana, Akhawatwa, and the Khabaru, Inna, Akhawat. So, from what I do, we did the Fa'il. We did the lesson on the Fa'il. We identified the time, we checked the homework of that. And then we moved on to the Naibu al Fa'il, correct? We didn't check the homework, okay. Let's just do that quickly. I'm not too bothered with all the translation of the sentences and stuff now, right? I can send you the answers to those. I can send you the answer, you can check it. But what, I, what is important for me is that you can understand or you can identify who the five ideas in the sentence. And well, not so much for this, for this lesson, but then you can also identify what the mafoolun is, the subject of this verbal sentence and the object. Right. So let's look at the first one. Nazzal al kitab bil haqqi. What is the process that we said? In it. Right. Either you look at the end or to the left or inside. Right. It must be in the wrong. So let's say Nazzal al kitab bil haqqi. Nazzal. Is there any word in the roughly? There's no word in the roughly. So, firstly, there's nothing at the end of Nazar. Then there's nothing to the left. So, where must it be? Inside. Inside Nazar is what? What? He. So, that's Mafa'in. What's the Mafa'in be He revealed. What did he reveal? Al Kitaba. Nazar is a wish bar. The second one, how many times did you do so far? Two, so, Okay. One and still listening to me. Nazalna alayka, nazalna alayka kitaban. Nazalna alayka kitaban. Who's the fa'il? We first look at the end, right? Is there anything at the end of nazalna? The, the na. So that na is going to be. How do you know when the na is my fa'il and the other one will be? Like the other dom is attached. Okay, you can you can go on the scale. Nazala, Nazalu, Nazalat, Nazalna, Nazalta, Nazaltum, Nazalti, Nazaltuna, Nazaltu, Nazal. Right, so that's that's what. A quick way to check is just look at the haraka before it, look at the, the letter before it, if it has a sukun on it, then it's likely that that na is the fa'il. If it, if it has a haraka on it, then it will be the mudah, it will be the maf'ul and be. For example, nazala na will mean he revealed us. Nazalana. But if it's Nazalana or the Sukun, then you know the Na is the Fa'il. Just, that's just a life hack, quick way to check it out. Nazalana alayka kitaban. So the Na is the Fa'il. What's the Maf'ul bihi? Kitaban. Right? The Alayka is extra information. Next one, Aslama wajahahu lillahi. 
أسلم وجهه لله. Is there any word in Arab Abi? No, that's wajha is in nafs, right? And the who is attached to it. Okay, so this is there anything at the end of Aslama? Which Bible is Aslama? Number four. Uh, we're not just guessing. Why? How do you identify the Hamza at the beginning? Right. So there's nothing at the end, and there's nothing in the sentence that's in the rough. So when, when you look then inside and inside Aslama is Huwa. And what's the Mafaul and Bihi? Aslama means to submit. What did he submit? Wajhahu is face. In the context of okay, that's our discussion. He submitted his face to Allah, meaning he submitted him, himself to Allah. That's a like a rhetorical device in the, the Arabic language before. Dikrul juz wa iradatul kul. You you mention a part, but you intend the whole. And that's done for a reason. Why 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 submit his face? Because his face is the most noble part of him. So if he has submitted that, then everything lesser than that is submitted. ما نزل الله من شيء ما نزل الله من شيء ما نزل Where is the firm? Is there anything at the end? No. To the left? Yes, Allah. So that's going to be man. What's the mafool be? Okay, let's leave that for now. When we do this, when we do the lesson on the Mahul B, when we get to the Mansuba, you know, see, even though that Minshay is a harmful journey, it's from Majuru. You see that? But in this case, it's actually also the, the Mahul B. But don't worry about that for now. وأنزل معهم الكتاب بالحق وأنزل معهم الكتاب بالحق أنزل is the verb with the فاعل is anything at the end of أنزل now to the left is anything in the rough nothing in the rough so where then do we have it inside inside أنزل is هو what's the مفعول به الكتاب وَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ What's the fa'al there? It's so easy. أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ Allah. There's nothing at the end. To the left is Allah. What's uh, مفعول به? Again, الكتابة. Number seven. اِتَّبَعَ رِضْوَانَ اللَّهِ اِتَّبَعَ رِضْوَانَ اللَّهِ Anybody want to venture guess which verb is ittaba'an? Which one has the extra tap before the first rupee? Okay, well, I should have actually asked you what are the root letters for? You can tell ba'in. But you can, can you see there's a shad on the first task? There's two tasks there. So which one has the extra tap? This one is etis. Next number eight. Okay, so who's the fa'al of ittaba'a? First look at the end. Is there anything at the end? No. So we look to the left. Anything in the rough? No. After that we look. Inside, inside ittaba'a is what? He. So again, and he followed the pleasure of him. He pursued the pleasure of him. Yes. Why? If, if we look at ittaba'a, is there anything at the end? Remember, we don't look at the beginning and stuff like that. We look at the end. Right? Ittaba'a. So there's nothing at the end, right? The ayn is the a root letter. So there's nothing at the end. After that, we look where? To the left. There's nothing in our rough on the left. So it must be inside. 
Okay, next one. What Is anything at the end? Yeah, yeah, there's something at the end. So who's the fa'il? The wow. They ittaba, ittaba, oh, they. And what's the maf'oon being? Again, the same like the previous verse, ridwana. Next one. Washu'arahu yattabi'uhu al-ghawuna. Washu'arahu yattabi'uhu al-ghawuna. Hmm. Is this, what is this translated as? And the poets, yattabi'uhum al-ghawun. Who is the fa'al here? Firstly, who is the verb? Yattabi'uhum. So now let's find the fa'al. First, we look at the end. Is there anything at the end? There's that whom there. But is that one of the fa'ils or is that just a tamir that's attached to the end? Remember, we learned about the tamir and we said when we have a tamir attached to the end of the verb, it will always be your maf'ulun. Right. So this is that. This is not, there's no scale that has a boom. That is una, ani, stuff. Okay, not, we didn't do the duels, but it's una, but not boom. In the scales as attachments at the end. So if it's not that, where do we look next to the left? Is there anything rough on the left? That, that's a plural, that's a ghawuna for given fa'il. It isn't rough. You might have missed that one, but you can see what tells you that it's not rough for the woman. The masculine plural. If it's in a nasco jar, it will be in. So we have to translate it as something like, and the poets, the errant ones, follow him. And the poets, washu'ara, washu'ara, is the poets, yattami'uhum al the errant ones, the ones in error, follow them. Okay, that's enough. I'll give you the list. Allah answers for all of you. I'll give you an answer sheet. You can go through it. If you have any questions, we can deal with that next week. So I actually want to get to the next week. Now, remember we said that we have uh, we have a fa'al, fi'al, that is a fi'al that is ma'alun and a fi'al that is majhul. Can you remember that from last year? A fi'al that is ma'alun and a fi'al that is majhul. What's the difference? The one is active form and the other one is passive form. If you want to simplify it even further, in Arabic, what is that translate to? When I say ma'alun, what is ma'alun? Alima from to know. What is known? The doer is known. In a ma'alum verb, the doer is. Even if it, there is no word in the rough in the sentence, it's going to be inside. That you always be talking to have any verb in it. It's a ma'alum verb. You will always know the doer. Why? It's either going to be at the end. Or it's going to be to the left, or if it's not, no way to be seen there, it's going to be inside. So there's always going to be a doer there somewhere. But what if I want to say, rather than he wrote or he helped, where he is the doer, what if I want to say he was helped? I don't want to mention who helped him. So I'm not saying who did the helping, the doer is not mentioned. You cannot just leave. A word out, you have to change the form of the verb from the ma'alum form to the majhul form. You recall that? And how do the majhul forms sound? Fa'ala is the ma'alum form. Fa'ala ya fa'alu. The majhul form will be fu'ila and yufa'alu. 
طعن عند After that, after that, to and you found right. After that, how do you find now? So, so firstly, can the, can we look for a file now when we have a module for? Can we look for a fa'il? Does it make sense to look for a fa'il? No. You only use a majbool verb when the fa'il is not mentioned. When the fa'il is not mentioned. So you don't even bother looking for a fa'il. But what happens in this case now is the maf'ool will be he. He gets upgraded. So we ask the cat eight as in my class. So now there's no fa'il. So the maf'ool B gets upgraded. B gets upgraded now to the place of the file, but he's not really a file. So we can't call him a file. What we call him now is a naibul file. So that for me, naibul file. Again, naibul file. And a naib is a deputy. A deputy or a substitute if you want. So, for example, in the country, if you have a Rais, a Rais al Dawla, a president, whatever, you will have a Naib, Naib or Rais al Dawla, a deputy president. And Naib is a substitute or deputy. So now, because remember, the, there's no file, so the Maf'ul be deputizes for the file. How does he deputize? He takes the place of Ra. He gets the hand of. Instead of bringing Nas, he now gets upgraded to Raf. And you look for him the same way you look for the fire. Either at the end, or to the left, or inside. So in two ways, he's upgraded. His name changes from the Danapon, from the object, to the deputy of the door. Right from from maf'ul b to naibul fa'il. That's the first upgrade that he gets. The second upgrade that he gets is from nasb he goes to raf. From nasb he goes to raf. And I'm going to give you an example quickly. Let's say Zaidun or Nasar Zaidun Amran. Nasar Zaidun Amran. What does that mean? Zaid help Amr. Zaid help Amr. What happens if I just leave Zaid out? Nasara Amran. What does that mean? He helped Amr. If I want to just say that Amr was helped, how am I going to say? Nusira Amrun. Can you see? He was in Nasr all the time. But now, because the file is completely out of the picture, it becomes the deputy of the file. So we call him, say, Nusira Amrun. Now, what if I just wanted to say he was out? I would just say, Nusira. So it can either be, what if I want to say they were out? Nusiru. So it can still either be at the end, or to the left, or inside. And it will be in, up as well, just. So you look for it the same way you look for a file, the exact same way you look for a file, right? The only difference is now the form of the verb will be different. Instead of being ma'loom, it will be majroom. Is that all clear? Just some things to know. Every verb has a ma'loom form and a majroom form. Every bab has a ma'loom form and a majroom. So we now have done all of the different abwa. But let's just see. Here I have the, the words listed the present tense and the past tense. So if you go to your, your worksheet, you'll see the, the first one, babun, and you'll have the bams listed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? 
as in we have al fi'lu al madhi al ma'lum what does that mean al fi'lu the first verb al madhi past tense al ma'lum active form so the active form past tense verb the next column that's empty is what al fi'lu al mudari al majhul that's a mistake it should be al fi'lu al madhi al majhul al fi'lu Al Maldi, like the same like the previous column, but just my saying on the next slide, Al Majhul. Then the next column says what? Al Fi'lul Mudari Al Ma'lum. Mudari present tense. So the present tense, active form, verb. And the last column says what? Al Fi'lul Al Mudari Al Majhul. The passive form. Present tense verb, and you can see. Do you recognize the scale number one? Fa'ala, and the other present and the other active form verb is yafal. So the first thing I want you to do is convert it to convert it to much more. Now, how are you going to convert it to much more? We didn't even learn one of those scales. Quick rule. Just keep fu'ila and yuf'alu in mind. The mudari always starts with a u. But always starts with a u. The first word, letter will always have a u. The second thing is that for the past tense, the second root letter will have a kasr. Can you see the ayn? Oh, I have a kasra. So always the ayn can always have a kasra. And for the present tense, yuf'a, the second root letter will always have a fak. It's written in your notes. The past tense majhul verb will have a dhamma on the first letter and a kasra on the second last letter. Yeah, when I say second last, I actually mean the second last of the root letter. The first one is the first letter. And then the ayn kalima, yeah, I mean the second last, the second last root, the second root letter, second last, second, it's the middle one. The middle one. And in the present tense, it will also start with the dhamma. And the first letter, on the first letter, and the I am telling you, the second root letter will have a kasra. And if you want to remember that, just keep the first example in your mind. Fu'ila and yuf'alu. So the ayin will have an e for the past tense and an a for the present tense. Okay, we're supposed to have break now. So that's the first part of the homework. We still have those clothes. Then the second part of the homework is. I want you to do the exercise on page number eight. What must you do there? You must just identify for me the naive fa'al. Translate the verses and identify the naive fa'al. How are you going to do that? For example, you're going to do it. Is there anything at the end of that? What? But isn't that the standard feminine form? That's the standard feminine form. Right? So there's nothing at the end. Then we look to the left. What's on the left? Is it in Rafa? It's in Rafa. So is that going to be my naive fa'al? Yes, it is. So in that same way you look for a fa'al, you look for your naive fa'al. The only difference is that your verb will be much more. Now, can you see it's not fataha? Fataha, it's futiha. That's the okay. So let's do that for homework, inshallah. Firstly, we just form the different rule forms, and then secondly, we look for the naive file in each of those sentences, inshallah. All right, we'll for now.
of other class rooms. So we're going to join the other class now after break, right? So we'll have about a 10 15 minute break and then we'll join the other class. Room.